primary heart dissection. In this video, we're going to look at exploring how the heart is the pump for all the blood in our body. Everything in our body needs oxygen and glucose to work, and to get that around our entire body, we need a pump to get it there. You might notice that when you move more or you exercise, your heart starts beating more frequently. This is to get more oxygen and more glucose to your muscles that need it. You can notice this when you feel your pulse. When you receive your sample, you'll be able to identify a number of structures on the surface. We have this crease or fold along the front of the heart structure. This is our interventricular sulcus, and it's going to be a useful guide for when you're cutting in so you can separate the main components inside. You'll also notice a number of blood vessels on the top of the heart. Think of the heart as being like a four-bedroomed house. There's four rooms inside. There's also four ins and outs, and these are what our blood vessels do for us. They let the blood go into the heart or out of the heart in one of these four tubes. The first vessel to identify is the aorta. This is the easiest one to spot first because it's got the chunkiest diameter. It's the thickest vessel. It has to pump blood all the way around the body. And it's this vessel right here. The aorta is an artery, so it pumps blood under high pressure. You've also got another artery in the heart. This is our pulmonary artery. There's also carotid arteries covering the entire surface of the heart. And these arteries bring blood carrying oxygen glucose to the heart muscle itself. This slightly thinner walled blood vessel on the top of the heart is our vena cava. So when your body needs oxygen, the blood needs to enter the heart through this vessel here. This is our vena cava and go down into our right atrium. Once it's through the atrium, it will go down into the right ventricle and it's gonna get pumped out of then our pulmonary artery, artery meaning away from the heart. So when your blood has been to the lungs and it's picked up the oxygen, it needs to return to the heart to get pumped around the body. It's gonna come back into the heart through this pulmonary vein. Then it's gonna go down this left side of the heart into the left ventricle and then get pumped out of that enormous vessel, the aorta. This blood's gonna get pumped at really high pressure. It's gotta reach the whole of your body. Blood is pumped at such high pressure out of your aorta that it can get around your entire body in less than a minute. It actually travels 12,000 miles a day. When examining your heart, you should be able to give it a little squeeze and find that some sides feel bigger or chunkier than the rest. You'll notice that the right side of your sample should feel a bit more thicker. This is stronger muscle because it's the side of your heart that's going to pump around your entire body. The left side of your sample is a little bit thinner, less pressure needed here because you're only pumping blood to your lungs. When you come to dissect your sample, so you can see these four chambers inside, those four rooms of the house, you want to look for that fold that goes slightly diagonal along the front. This is our interventricular sulcus and it's a useful guide to cutting so we can separate the chambers inside, the ventricles and the atria. When it comes to cutting open your sample, be very careful with using a scalpel. Always cut away from yourself. And we're going to use this sulcus as our guide. We'll make an incision just slightly to the side of this dip in the middle. When you've made your incision, you can open a heart like opening the pages of a book. And then we can see those internal chambers. You should be able to identify that at the bottom of each side, you've got your ventricles. These are the parts that are going to pump and push the blood out of the heart, either to the lungs or to the body. Remember, your heart is a double pump. It's pumping to two places at the same time. When looking inside the ventricles, you should be able to spot a couple of extra things. Here we've got a valve. Now these are really important because they make sure that blood is only pumped out of your heart. So it stops the blood falling back in against gravity. Now these valves need their own little muscles. And you should just be able to make out down here muscles that are in support of those valves. These are papillary muscles. 